sometimes you just get this wave. It literally feels like a heat wave coming over your body and you can't function. You can't think straight to do what the task is before you. You can't function to have a conversation. It literally feels like a weight, a dark cloud, and a weight has come over your body, and you feel literally crippled. It's almost like paralysis. Some people call that depression. Some people call it anxiety, whatever name you want to put to it. Um, we don't like to talk about these things. We don't like to talk about mental health, but mental health is just as or even more important than the physical health. And despite this has nothing to do with Barbados or travel, I'm taking this platform and hopefully someone can benefit from this video. I'm currently going through a bit of a depression or a wave. I like to call them waves. Highs and lows, highs and lows. Um, and I thought I would put together a list of things you can do when you're going through depression or having a really rough day. Tip number one, breathe. Just take a minute and breathe in deep. Hold and release. As simple as that sounds, your body is literally going through a form of shock and it needs that bit of it. A slow down, let's catch ourselves here. So by slowing down, taking a breath, get some extra oxygen, get the cells in the body, you know, cells in the brain, a little extra oxygen, um, you kind of reset yourself a little bit. A step you can take is to, and I think this is very important, stop whatever you're doing, work, dealing with the kids, dealing with mom, dad, dealing with whatever you're dealing with, stop and put yourself first. So imagine that you were to push yourself through this depression or this wave of a downer and you weren't focusing in drive, you weren't focusing in dealing with your kids and cooking or whatever it is. And an accident happens, all because you didn't take a minute to stop and catch yourself. So you're going to have to put yourself first. So, so whether that's for five minutes, ten minutes, a day, whatever you have to do to give yourself time to put yourself first and let the humans around you, with all their expectations, come to a halt. Even the tiny ones. Yes, I know, mom's out there. You can't take a minute. You can't take a minute. If you imagine that your health depends on their health depends on your health yeah if you look at it that way so for some you can take five minutes to breathe take a walk outside um take a day off call in sick use your sick days don't you try to use all of them you know but use your sick days and do things you love so that's the next step ah steps that's the next step Do something you love. Some would say that's sleeping. Sleeping works sometimes, but too much sleep can actually be more harmful. So get some rest. And if that doesn't work, and you find you've been doing it and it has been working, I'd say the next step is do something you love. Whether it's crafting, whether it's gym, whether it's for a run, whether it's take a swim, whether it's, I don't know, gaming, watching a movie, do something you love that raises your endorphins and makes you feel good. Something, especially something that doesn't really require funds because a lot of depression 
it's connected to lack of friends, not the ability, inability to be in a better space. Um, and I completely understand that. So simple thing like watching a movie, crafting, um, gardening, gaming. What are your suggestions for guys? I can only think of girly things, mainly like girly things. So guys, what do you do when you want to slow down? It's things that boost your endorphins. A lot of you guys are going to say the gym. Sure. But for those who aren't gym guys, what else do you do? I'm sure there's plenty of them. So drop some comments down below. Um, for me, what I found is sleeping does help, but too much sleep is not, not good. So what I've been doing is I will create a cozy space. My home is my cozy space, but I've been transforming it into this ultra cozy space that I don't ever have to leave and I don't have to interact with humans. <laughs> Just kidding. Not kidding. Just kidding. So I'll put my blanket down in my living room because it's a little cooler. Um, I live in the hot AF of Barbados. So the bedrooms are hot. So the breeze is coming through from the front. Put my blanket down, put some pillows down, get my crafts out, pull out a movie. Nowadays I'm into anime, so I watch myself with anime. Um, get my special glass, you know, things like that. Make the moments special. Slow down. So that's the step. Slow down. Find joy in the simplest things. That's actually it. Find joy in the simple, simple things of life. Whatever it is that brings you joy. Think about what brought you joy when you were a kid. Because we're all just big kids out here trying to deal with this real life world matrix ish. So, what makes you, what made you happy when you were a kid? Try to relive that, slow down. And when you're slowing down and enjoying these simple things that don't cost no big set of money, and I hope cost no money at all because it's just you slowing down. And I know you can say, oh, but I got to go or I can lose on a day of work. Listen. Do you want to make that extra money or do you want to live an additional 15, 20 years? You decide because this is for your betterment. So slow down. Do your stuff you did when you were a kid. Have your special stuff. I find having a special glass that I put my water in. If you want to put your rum in, you want to put your wine in, whatever you want to put it in. But nobody can complain and tell me they don't have water. Sorry, there are people who don't have water. So, that even is a very depressing thought. How do I get back from that? I don't know. Um, so then that brings me to the last step. Gratitude. There are people out there who cannot even put a glass of water and drink. Have gratitude for the effed up life you do have. It is effed up. No doubt about that. We're all living our own realities and our own ish. But there is someone worse out there than you. And I'm sorry, I hate to hear, oh, there's someone worse than you, so you should be grateful. It's cliche, but it's the truth. And it's reality. We are living in a world of war and famine and just injustice overall. That's a whole nother conversation. Um, so being full of gratitude for the little things. So if you got a glass of water, if you got a, a, a glass of rum, if you got a glass of wine, if you got some fruit juice, if you got some, I don't know, KFC, whatever it is that makes you happy, you got it. Someone ain't got it. So gratitude is it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you to journal and like have a schedule and exercise and all that ish. Unless you really want to exercise, like listen, I'm not getting under exercise. So this is all about slowing down, having gratitude, fighting the little things that make you happy, especially the little things that once made you happy as a kid. They probably still make you happy as an adult. And before you know it, the wave will pass. And you will feel a little bit better. Just a little bit better. Just enough to get going the next day. Just so you can get through the next day. And the next day. And the next week. And the next month. And before you know it, the next year. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's quite different, quite different and quite new for me. And then I'm going to shade the camera with my foot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this, I'll eventually make more and you can watch them right here. Bye.